Okay, thank you, Chairman. I'm Mikio Eto from Keio University in Japan. I'd like to talk about flux-dependent condo effect in an Hanno Bohm ring with an embedded quantum dot. And this is the outline of my talk. After the general introduction, I will explain you the, our scaling analysis for the condo effect in this uh, system. Uh, first, uh, in the small limit of the ring size, and then I extend our calculation to the uh, finite ring size. So in the introduction, let me start with the quantum dot, a small box of nanometer scale uh, coupled to two leads. So energy levels are discretized in the quantum dot. And with the large charging energy U, so-called Coulomb blockade, you can tune the number of electrons in the quantum dot one by one using the gate, gate voltage. And each peak of the current shows a symmetric Lorentzian shape uh, due to the resonant tunneling through one of the quantized energy levels. And conductance becomes 2e square over h at the peak. And width is determined by the level broadening due to the tunnel coupling. And let's consider the Coulomb blockade region with spin 1 half. Then the condo effect takes place. Uh, in the condo effect, the spin one half in the quantum dot is coupled to the Fermi C in the reads and makes the spin singlet state uh, schematic schematically like this. And this is the many body ground state, and the binding energy is given by the quantum temperature, Tk. So this many body ground state makes the resonant level at the Fermi level, and width of the resonance is given by the condo temperature. So as a result, at low temperatures, much lower than Tk, resonant tunneling takes place through the uh, condo resonance. So the conductance uh, goes to 2e square over h. Uh, and in other words, a phase shift uh, accompanied by the transport is fixed at uh, pi, half of pi. And size of the singlet state, so-called condo crowd, uh, is given by this equation, Fermi velocity divided by condo temperature. So it's very large, uh, hundred, a few hundred nanometer inside the lead. Okay, so what happened uh, when the quantum dot is embedded in an AB ring, and there is an experimental result without condo effect uh, by Kobayashi and co-workers. So using this sample, uh, uh, by changing the magnetic field, uh, they observe the AB oscillation as a function of the magnetic field. And then uh, uh, fixing the magnetic field and changing the gate voltage they observed a uh, asymmetric shape with peak and dip, so so-called final resonance. The final resonance is due to the interference between a discrete level in the quantum dot and continuum spectrum in the reads. And conductance is given by this equation, and Q is a complex final factor in a magnetic heap, in the magnetic field. And uh, shape of the uh, final resonance changes uh, with the magnetic flux inside the ring. In the presence of the condo effect, so we have one body interference effect, so final effect, and also many body resonant, ton, uh, resonant effect, condo effect. So this is the theoretical result by Kofstatter and co-workers using this model. And here the phi is the AB phase corresponding to the magnetic flux penetrating the ring. And the conductance shows a funnel-like shape depending on the magnetic flux inside the quantum dot. Uh, but in the condo region, uh, reflecting the phase rigidity at uh, half of pi, uh, the change of the conductance becomes slow. 
A similar result has been observed in experimentally. So in my talk, I will discuss this condo effect in detail. So in the present study, we examine the flux dependence of the condo effect using the Poirman scaling. And we obtain analytical expressions for the condo temperature and conductance at finite temperatures. First, I examine the small limit of the AB ring, and we show you the large flux dependence of the condo temperature. And second, I briefly mention the ring size dependence. Uh, for the details, please see the poster by Ryosuke today. So this is our model. So our model is almost the same as Hofstadter's model. And uh, two leads are represented by a one-dimensional one tight binding model. And we are interested in the quantum region, where a single electron is localized in the quantum dot. That is, addition energy uh, of the single electron on the quantum dot and also the extraction energy from the quantum dot are much larger than the thermal fluctuation and level broadening gamma. And gamma is given by this equation, and nu is the density of state in the lead. The strategy of our calculation is as follows. First, we diagonalize the two leads and upper arm of the AB ring, or outer region of the quantum dot. So there are two eigenmodes. So one is uh, incident from the left, partly transmitted and partly reflected. Or incident from the right, and partly transmitted and partly ref reflected. Second, we perform unitary transform transformation for the two modes, so that one of the modes is completely decoupled from the quantum dot. And neglecting the decoupled mode, we make the reduced model with single mode. And this mode is coupled to the quantum dot uh, with this tunnel coupling. So this is the generalization of the paper by Grassmann and Reich uh, for to separate leads. So the reduced model is descri described by the conventional impurity Anderson model, but the density of state in the lead is complicated depending on the magnetic flux. So, so this is the density of state and for n, uh, phi is smaller than half of pi, and the de density of state uh, is like that, uh, for the uh, AB phase is larger than half of pi. So all the information of the interference effect in the AB ring is involved in this magnetic flux dependence of the density of states. And flux dependence is taken into account through this uh, function, P phi. Here, alpha is the asymmetric factor of two tonal barriers, and Tb is the background transmission through the upper arm. So both are between zero and unity. So now examine the scaling analysis using the reduced model. The remarkable properties of the condo effects are uh, there is only one relevant energy scale, condo temperature Tk, and Tk is determined uh, all the energy scales from Tk to the bandwidth. So to capture the uh, condo physics, uh, Anderson's Perman scaling is useful. Uh, bandwidth D is gradually changed, and renormalized exchange coupling between localized spin and leads, and not to change uh, in low energy physics within the second order perturbation. Uh, technically, we adopt Haldane's two-stage scaling, assuming infinite U. Uh, on the first stage, uh, charge fluctuation, so the number of electrons in the quantum dot is unit, uh, unity or zero, and energy level in the quantum dot, epsilon naught, 
is renormalized. On the second stage, after the charge fluctuation is quenched, spin fluctuation is taken into account and uh, exchange coupling J is renormalized. And in the first stage scaling, we obtain the scaling equation for the uh, energy level in the quantum dot. And so this is the normal, renormalized level in the quantum dot. It is flux dependent through the function P phi. So the renormalized level is the lowest when the AB phase is zero and highest when the AB phase is pi. And in the second stage scaling, uh, we make the condo Hamiltonian by the schrieffer wolf transformation. And we have uh, exchange coupling times uh, by J and potential scattering time by K. And J and K are renormalized uh, by the scaling equation. And finally, we obtain the analytical e expression for the condo temperature. So, so, this, so this is the, our final result. So the condo temperature is stro strongly dependent on the magnetic flux phi. And uh, conductance can be calculated in the conventional way. At, at high temperatures, uh, we obtain logarithmic corrections. And uh, at low temperatures, uh, fermi liquid theory yields the unitary limit and its corrections. So until now, I discussed the case of a small limit of uh, AB ring. Uh, but we can extend our calculation to the case of finite ring size. And so we adopt this model. The ring size is denoted by capital L. And similar model has been examined using the slave bosom mean field theory uh, by this group. And first, we make the reduced model with single lead. And in this case, density of states uh, oscillates with this period, uh, frame velocity over ring size. When this period is smaller than Tk, or ring size is, is much larger than the size of the condo crowd, condo temperature is independent of the magnetic flux. But Otherwise, uh, condo temperature depends on the magnetic flux. So the detail, uh, please see the poster by Ryosuke today. So this is the conclusion of our, of our uh, 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 study. Uh, scaling analysis for the condo effect in a quantum dot embedded in an AB ring. And analytical expressions uh, were obtained for condo temperature and conductance. And condo temperature is significantly moderated by the magnetic flux phi when the ring size is smaller than the condo crowd. So thank you for your attention. Crossover, uh, what, what do you mean by crossover? Ah, no. Uh, We take the Poorman scaling method, so we cannot examine the crossover. Uh, we need uh, energy numerical calculations or something. So we cannot examine the crossover region. Uh, well, so um, our scaling method is, is applicable uh, when the ring size is much larger than the uh, condo crowd or much smaller than the condo crowd, but between the regions, it's, it's difficult. Have you mentioned the conductance? Uh, did you mention the conductance? Yes. Uh, another question. You said that at low temperature you go to the Fermi liquid, but how can you go to the low temperature in the, in the you, you do calculation the weak regime, no? Uh, so so, so you, uh, you're asking me the crossover between the high temperature region and the low temperature? Low temperature in this formally. Uh, well, uh, again, so uh, only the, uh, uh, we are using the Poorman scaling, so we cannot examine the crossover region. So 
for the crossover region, uh, we need uh, the energy calculation or something.